Hello, this is Bobby from Clubhouse Community Repair with a video today answering a question about the EEPROM for e Visio E422VA and we're showing, we're selling the EEPROMs for those or the so-called EEPROMs and uh, people are asking uh, how do they know if they're good which is actually the same as for any other EEPROM uh, but a lot of people cannot test those and don't know how and <clears throat> I just want to show here uh, how we do it. The EEPROM stays normally here and on this board we've installed a socket so that we can test the EEPROMs that are going out and what I'm going to do here is I want to pick one that is ready and place it in that's the other way around. Now installing the socket is a pretty hard task. Uh, installing the EEPROM in the socket is not that hard. It's hard if you do it with one hand while you operate the phone with the other. But, uh, okay, should be ready now. This is the connected board. There's uh, original board inside. I'm using that TV. We have our testing TV. Uh, this just so happens to be a customer's TV here uh, that came for the same treatment. Uh, everything here connected. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put on power. And what happens is the TV starts blinking when the EEPROM makes good contact. There's the... Yep. Okay, so it's going to blink for a while. I think 20 or so times. And then it's going to stop. Uh, a failed EEPROM can cause that blinking to go forever, or uh, it can cause that blinking to never start, or a uh, shutdown at a later moment. A proper EEPROM would cause blinking for some time, then it stops, and then if I press the power on button, it's it gets up bright and shortly after the display goes bright now it's going to be easier if I at this point raise the TV and see what does it show let's see if I press some of the buttons yep it says no signal there you go that it is functional, of course, a proper functioning will require testing the other functions, but this one is capable of starting the TV, and usually, when they're capable of doing that, they're capable of everything else. Uh, very often, we actually just stop at testing, making sure the backlight comes through. Uh, I'm going to turn it off, and the backlight will go off as well. And power off. There you go. Backlight off. And what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to pull that EEPROM out again. This one will probably go to either a repair TV or a customer. Put it back. And I'm going to get another EEPROM that I know doesn't work. Uh, and I'm going to put it back in properly. It's going to be oriented that way. Sorry if you don't see so well. Come on. All right. Looking good. Closing. I think that's enough. Yeah, it is enough. And sorry for the focus. It doesn't do a proper auto focus. Actually, should have. Turned off the TV before doing that. It does not present a danger to the EEPROM. It can just hang on. So I'm turning it on and I'm checking what's in there. What's in there is there is a slight light here. There it is. But it's not blinking. And if I press the power button, which is what I'm doing right now, it doesn't do anything. It, it, there's just this light light and that's a defective EEPROM or in that case that is actually an empty EEPROM 
but if it's a defective it might do the same of course it might do the same for other reasons if the main processor uh, is not working for whatever reason uh, but this is how we test them I can put another EEPROM there and disconnect that if I take that one out and take another working one in I don't remember which one I took before I believe I believe I took that one I don't remember which one of the two I took but those are the two ones that are working we'll go through those, we'll make them work <coughs> uh, we'll test them here and this is how we know they do work and this is what you're getting uh, of course remember the problem is not always at the EEPROM, it can be into something else, we offer board repair service, sometimes it may be here, sometimes it may be in the IC that is in there, if the whole IC has to be replaced, that ends up costing way too much, very rarely it is here, but we've seen the Wi-Fi module uh, cause hang up of the whole thing, usually you resolve that by just pulling the cable, uh, hope this all helps, that's all, thanks.